Hi, it's Dwyer, richarddwyer.com, gamblersadvisory.com. Today is July the 28th, 2017. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me just say, here online, Bitcoin has certain limitations in its current form. If you want to experience them firsthand, and if you have some Bitcoin this morning on Coinbase.com, just try to transfer that Bitcoin to another wallet and see how long it takes for the transaction to go through. Right? Bitcoin's block size of one megabyte greatly limits the system's efficacy. Right? The transactions are slow. Compared to other coins, the transactions are expensive. So, it's my belief that sooner or later markets take over. There are many people who want to use Bitcoin, but who want it to be faster, who want it to be less expensive, who want it to be more efficient. And you can accomplish all of those things, all of them, with a bigger block size. So the Bitcoin community has been torn because there are people with a vested interest in maintaining something close to the status quo, right? Small miners don't want to deal with the bigger block size, right? They have a system set up where they're getting, you know, mining fees they're getting compensated and they don't want to have to move to bigger equipment to compete with the big guys in creating and mining bigger block size cryptocurrency but understand for the user for the consumer there's no question in my mind as someone who's invested in a bunch of these cryptocurrencies, including Dash, that a bigger block size is more robust. It's a better experience for the people actually using the cryptocurrency. Let me also take this moment to point out that cryptocurrency to me is not a tulip bubble. Right? Cryptocurrency has big time utility in the real world, right? How many of you watching this video have engaged in financial transactions today? Perhaps some of those transactions were done online. Perhaps you bought something on Amazon. Perhaps you sent someone money using PayPal. Perhaps you paid a parking ticket online using your phone, using your laptop, using your tablet. Right? As the world moves toward more digital transactions, understand cryptocurrencies will have more and more usefulness. Right? In my opinion, if the item is cost efficient and satisfies a need, then that's very different than something like investing in tulips. So, let me just say, we're going to have a major moment take place within the next four days, right? Bitcoin Cash, an altcoin, and I'm calling it an altcoin when it's really not, right? An altcoin that, in my opinion, is far more developed than Bitcoin, right? Because it's going to have a block size of 8 megabytes. That's 8 times Bitcoin's current block size, right? That's 4 times what Bitcoin will have after SegWit2 passes, right? It's going to have 8 times the block size. And it's my understanding that if you own Bitcoin, because it's a fork off the Bitcoin chain 
for every Bitcoin you own, you're going to get one unit of Bitcoin Cash. In my opinion, Bitcoin Cash is so much more advanced than Bitcoin that it's going to be readily apparent right, to Bitcoin holders that their Bitcoin Cash holdings right, that they're going to receive after the fork right, while they keep their Bitcoin holdings. The Bitcoin Cash component is just going to have, folks, more capability. It's going to be a more robust system. You're going to be able to send money, excuse me, send currency, right? I'll leave it to the critics on whether cryptocurrency is money. But you're going to be able to send currency to third parties much more quickly, much more efficiently, at a much lower cost with the new coin. Right? And because Bitcoin has first mover status, right? It was the first cryptocurrency. Because it has brand recognition, people who don't even know about cryptocurrency have at least heard about Bitcoin. They might not have heard about my favorite Dash or Monero or Pivx, right? Or Zencash or Zcash. But they've heard about Bitcoin. Right? They're going to be exposed to this groundbreaking advancement on Bitcoin. I'm excited. If you get one takeaway from this video, it's to keep an eye on Bitcoin Cash. Now understand, cryptocurrency now is a very competitive world. People are rooting for other coins to fail. You're getting a lot of bad forecasts on what's going to happen in the future. Every market blip right, gets reported with spin. Just to understand that as I make this video, the futures on Bitcoin Cash, and I'm making this video at 12.29 p.m. on July the 28th, 2017. Right? The futures on the price of Bitcoin Cash, as reported by CoinMarketCap.com right now, exceed $400 a coin. Right? $400. In my opinion, this coin is so much more advanced than Bitcoin, the original. Right? That it should rise rapidly. Right? I think over time, these forked coins that are as robust as the coins from which they were forked are going to, over time, at least match the market price of the coin from which they were spawned. Right? So, what does this all mean? Right? It means that you should expect great volatility. Right? It also means that if you're a Bitcoin holder, you should not panic. Just take steps to realize the addition of Bitcoin Cash to your portfolio. Some of the exchanges online, Coinbase for example, won't recognize Bitcoin Cash. Right? Understand. Cryptocurrency moves faster than the preferences of some of the people involved in cryptocurrency. Technology waits for no one. But just be aware of the fact that sooner or later, as demand grows, as bottlenecks in the system develop, sooner or later, in my opinion, all of these coins are going to have to increase their block size. Right, as legacy finance moves on to the blockchain. So Evan Duffield, the founder of Dash, for example, laid out a blueprint where Dash over time is going to increase its block size to 400 megabytes. Right, 400. As it is, Dash is going to increase to two shortly. 
Well, Bitcoin Dash is coming out the gate at 8. It's a moment to behold. As the critics want to compare cryptocurrency to tulips, right? These are critics who, of course, have never done cryptocurrency transactions, right? Who want to convince you just like the people wanted to convince you before Netscape that this new technology, back in the Netscape days, it was the internet, wasn't going to be something that was widely adopted, right? I believe the shrewd investor here, while at least reading that point of view, should also consider the fact that cryptocurrency is growing like gangbusters because it satisfies a need, right? Cheap, quick, efficient financial transactions, right? It satisfies a need. And you need to ask yourself, okay, which cryptocurrency is going to be able to handle the increased traffic that the technology is going to have to deal with if, in fact, it is adopted more widely? In that conversation, I believe Bitcoin Cash deserves a hard look. I personally am looking forward to receiving some Bitcoin cash after my Bitcoin forks in the next three to four days, right? Let's just say two. The crowd most familiar with Bitcoin, the Bitcoin holders who've used Bitcoin, what do you think is going to happen when they realize that legacy Bitcoin is like a Volkswagen? compared to the Mercedes type Bitcoin cash block size chain, right? So just be informed. As this fork takes place over the next three and a half days, at least become acclimated to, become aware of, become informed about Bitcoin cash. I think it's a big moment in the cryptocurrency space that warrants your attention. That's how I see it. Let me point out, too, that some exchanges, Kraken, for example, are actually going to deal with the split, right? They're telling their users, look, there's going to be a lot of volatility. We can't predict what's going to happen. We don't even know if this... Bitcoin Cash split off is going to be successful. The risk is on you, the investor. Well, let me say that's the way I like it. Folks, when it comes to Bitcoin Cash, I see huge upside. Just a few months ago, I had some Ethereum on an exchange, Poloniex, excellent exchange. The split came, they split my Ethereum. Ethereum Classic has done quite well for me, right? Quite well for its holders since it was split. If you're wondering how a successful fork can take place, I encourage you to Google and get information about that Ethereum, Ethereum Classic split. I believe this split is going to be the same way. I believe Bitcoin Cash is going to be more than viable versus Bitcoin. I believe it's going to be superior to Bitcoin, right? I've been waiting several hours now for some Coinbase transactions involving Bitcoin to go through. Let's hope Coinbase has the common sense down the road to accept Bitcoin Cash, right? Had I done the transactions in Bitcoin Cash, had the fork taken place, those transactions would have been done much more quickly, much more cheaply much more to my satisfaction. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Let me point out too, you have cryptocurrencies, Dash, PIVX, that give you instant verifiable transactions. If you're a Bitcoin holder and you want your cryptocurrency to compete with that, 
right? Understand cryptocurrency is now a competitive space. You need the kind of advancements technologically that are inherent in Bitcoin Cash's 8 megabyte block size. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Shine a light on cryptocurrencies. Tell us what you think we should know. Thanks for stopping by.